Welcome back to Living in Thailand, my space on the internet. If this is your first time here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Your girl got a new video. Yeah, since we're still stuck in quarantine and I can't, like I said, go out and vlog the way that I want to, I thought that it would be really cool to do a video on how I use my braids from my wash day routine to get a really, really cool hopefully good braid out so if you have not seen my wash day routine that i uploaded please click the cards up above and they'll also be down in the description box so um i'm going to basically show you how i go from basically Fel felicia slash travis scott to a better version of myself but before we get into that video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe um also share this video if you find that you want to share it with your friends so yeah i'm going to so after let's 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 take it back so um my with my wash day routine if you saw like at the end i just basically braid my hair up into different plaits and i leave it like that i kind of re-moisturize in the middle of the week um and then i wait until the weekend to take it out to have like a really really cute braid out or if i'm just tired of looking like the color purple what i use to actually do my braids and to kind of keep it moisturized is a choice a uh, deep conditioner not deep conditioner but this three-in-one uh, revitalize and refresh conditioner that you can use as a co-wash leave-in detangler i use this as a leave-in because it's pretty expensive um uh, it's $13.99 which for me that's that's a lot um, and I'm not going to use this to rinse it out. So this is a leave-in for me. Um, so I use this on my braid. Then I go in with the Design Essentials um, Almond and Avocado Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This right here, y'all, is... This is, I, I'm just so happy I found this product. I feel like this is what has kept my hair moisturized, just defined, just everything, everything. I love this. It's by Design Essentials. It's the Almond Avocado Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I love this stuff. And then after I use leave-in and then the Design Essentials, I just go in with my DIY hair oil that has, um, grapeseed avocado um rose hip oil and jojoba oil and a little bit of essential oil i think i put frankincense in this one um and i just use this to kind of seal everything in so like i said i wear a scarf um my braids underneath i just wear a scarf throughout the week this is how i answer my zoom calls for work all that they getting they getting all of this and so yeah, so, and this is how I run my errands throughout the week too. So what I'm gonna do is just take off my scarf and then I have another scarf. So a little tidbit, when I wear these or if you wear a scarf, it's really important to kind of wear another satin or silk scarf underneath your, um, your head wrap just so that way you can keep the moisture in usually these are drying and it's rough on your hair you'll probably lose a lot of moisture in your hair so this kind of keeps it in so i'll wear this underneath this just that way my hair is moisturized take off this scarf to kind of wow that look like travis scott uh, so yeah, I have probably about 20 braids in my hair. This one's acting a little weird. Um, so I have about 20 braids in my hair and they're still pretty moisturized. They still feel pretty soft. I did re-moisturize them in the middle of the week because your hair needs moisture. Like my hair will not last if I don't try to re-moisturize during the middle of the week. So so yeah, um, I'm just going to show you guys how I take it down and hopefully we get a really, really cool braid out. I hope so. With natural hair, you can never know. And that's one of the things that I have a love hate relationship about it because one day you can get a really bomb braid out. And then the next time you can do the exact same steps, same process, same product, same everything. And your hair is like, Whoa. Nah, bruh. nah, bruh. So yeah, let's get let's get into taking these down. So I just put a little bit of the my oil in my hands. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit on my hair, just a little bit. 
Um, so people put oils on their hands before they take down their hair to kind of stop any of the friction and just make sure it's like easier to take down the braids. Um, so with the braid, what I did, I don't know if you guys can see, is that um, it's braided and then I kind of do a twist and curl, a coil at the end so it's just easier to take down. So we're going to start. Hopefully it comes out cute. I don't know if you guys can see that, but got a little, little curl action going on. I don't know if you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take um I'm gonna take them all out and you guys will see when I finish. So, um, I guess I can talk a little bit while I do this. But um, the reason that I like to do braid outs versus twist outs, especially after wash day, is because braids are... Um, they're they're a little bit tighter twist you just twist it up and they shrink more with braids it's a little bit more enforced to like keep keep the moisture in and actually stretch your hair so i definitely like to do braid outs more than twist outs because one i can get my length and if your hair is stretched you won't have to deal with single strand knots as much and i deal with so many single strand knots it's ridiculous like uh, it's it's ridiculous so um I don't like them I try to avoid them and how I avoid them is by doing braids instead of twists so braid outs are my go-to um sometimes I do twist outs but not as often as I do braid outs um and yeah and this is not with any type of curling product so one of the mistakes that I've learned is that the more products I put on my hair, just like you have to deal with flakes and you have to deal with like product buildup and things like that. And I just don't have time for that. So I like to use as few products as possible that can give me my desired results. And it's all more so about your technique. Like being natural is not really about your products. It's it's more about how you do your hair and your techniques. So products do help, but products is not going to magically make your hair something that it's not. You know what I mean? And to me, that's, you know, that's what you have to learn is that products are not going to going to make your hair something that it's not. So so yeah. This is what my hair is looking like. It's super soft. It has some movement. I have not um, fluffed it out or did anything to it, but I am very, very satisfied. So this is from my wash day. Like these are the braids that I did for my wash day with a midweek moisturizing session in between. So as I do kind of like the definition that I've gotten. I don't really like too, too much defined hair. Like I'm not a huge uh, stickler on defined hair, especially natural styles. I just feel like that's not as natural when it's like super defined and there's not any frizz and all of that. I kind of like it to look a little more natural. Um, frizz to me isn't a problem. I twist it in so it can kind of, hopefully you guys can see this, it gives it that little curl at the end. I think you guys can see that, yeah. So um, braid it, braid it, braid it, and then about two three inches of that much left of the hair i twist it so that way one is easier to take down that way and two i kind of get the ends the way um i want my ends to look so
All right, so these are my final results from the braids that I used for my wash day. Um, again, this is like a week old hair that I kind of re-moisturize in the middle of the week. So when I say re-moisturize in the middle of the week, um, what I do is I feel to see if my braids are super dry. Um, if they aren't super dry, I just take this, um, pour some in my hand and scrunch my brace to kind of press in the product on especially on the ends um if they're super dry and i feel like i need to kind of take the whole braid down um to re-moisturize i'll take the whole braid down use this and then use this and braid it back up and then i uh, basically just kind of redid my hair but these are the results i'm really really satisfied um i was a little nervous about um the braid out just because i've never taken um unbraided my hair or did any like anything like that on camera and you know with natural hair is very unpredictable so you never know what you're going to get um i will say that if you do um the more braids you do, the more defined it will do. It will your hair will be. The less braids you do, the less defined it will it will be. Or and that goes for twist as well. Um, again, I would make sure that the way that I want my hair to be styled at the end is the way that I will braid my hair. Meaning that if I want to have a middle part, I will part my hair and have the braids come this way um and if I want a side part I would do my side part and have the braids come in whichever way I wanted my hair to lay so with natural hair it's very important to kind of train your hair and basically manipulate your hair to kind of do what you want it to do again um you have to understand your hair type you have to understand what your hair can do I'm not for instance I'm not a wash and go girl my hair just does not do that um I'm pretty sure it could if I use a whole bunch of gel and stuff but I'm gonna get a lot of shrinkage and with shrinkage comes single strand knots and I'm not about that like with this braid out I feel like I get a little bit of length um more length than I would with a twist out I get volume and then my hair is super duper soft and with the softness that's where the products come in so um this I know I keep talking about this but this is where it's at I don't know if you guys have seen it if you guys have tried it please let me know if you have if you if you want to try it like this is so so good so um so yeah i'm excited now i can look cute for a couple of days doing quarantine gonna take a couple of pics um and yeah uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like comment and subscribe um and yeah your girl will see you in the next one but yeah this is the braid out i really really like it let me know down below if you're a braid out or you're a twist out type of girl and what products you use to kind of achieve for your best results thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.